Welcome back Ultima Weapons, it's the Night Sky Prince again. While Final Fantasy VII Remake sadly did not make an appearance at E3, that hasn't stopped Tetsuya Nomura, the director of both Final Fantasy VII Remake as well as the director of Kingdom Hearts 3, from commenting on it during the midst of all his E3 interviews. While sitting down with The Verge, the first thing that Nomura wanted to comment on was despite the rumors and misunderstandings, Final Fantasy VII Remake is not in early stages, quote, We are developing Final Fantasy VII in parallel, and it's not just in early concept stages either. Either. We're actually in development. Despite rumors started by Dan Tsukasa that Final Fantasy VII Remake had essentially restarted development, it seems like this isn't true. Though, for whatever reason, it's become quite mainstream that Square Enix had to quote, start the remake over from scratch. Though none of this has been confirmed, and Nomura making this point seems to clarify just how untrue that is. Which, by the way, the rumors and speculation honestly never made any sense to me. Final Fantasy VII Remake was never fully developed by CyberConnect2. Business Division 1 was still in charge of Final Fantasy VII Remake. CyberConnect2 was used to outsource many of the assets to, but never at any point in time was CyberConnect2 the sole developer on Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, even if CyberConnect2 was say, to produce lower quality or be behind schedule, whatever the case may be, they would still not have to start all the way over. Sure, they may have lost some work, but there's no way they lost all of it, simply because Business Division 1 has always been doing their half of the work as well. Nomura then goes on to say, quote, So right now, it's like I'm putting 100% into Kingdom Hearts, 100% into Final Fantasy 7, 100% into Kingdom Hearts, just going back and forth, he says. It's like working on two titles is just going to be one after Kingdom Hearts 3's launch. That's pretty much how I see it. It's good to know that Nomada is putting 100% into both, but just how practically feasible is it to work on two projects like this at the same time and still be giving 100%? I trust that he's doing his best, it just seems odd to me that he's able to work on both of these games at the exact same time. However, as he said, he's really only going to be focused on Final Fantasy VII Remake after Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. Which of course, Nomada clarified that Kingdom Hearts 3's development was not delayed because the game wasn't on schedule. In fact, it was delayed due to marketing reasons. So development for Kingdom Hearts 3 is still going great, and instead of rushing the game out early, they decide just to push it back a little bit more. That way it can be released at the best time that's optimal for the game's sales. But speaking of Final Fantasy 7 Remake again, that leads me to remind you all that no one I mentioned at the notorious 30th anniversary art exhibit that he soon hoped he would be able to show off the game at a big trade show this year. Which by the way, if the rumors were true about him having to restart development, there's no way he'd even have anything to show, much less even think about about making this promise. So the real reason we haven't seen Final Fantasy VII Remake is honestly not an issue of how far along enough the game is. In fact, if you think about how many times we saw Final Fantasy Versus 13, a game that was literally 20% complete when it internally became Final Fantasy XV in 2012. Why else would Nomura say just a few months back that cutscenes are further along in Final Fantasy VII than they are in Kingdom Hearts 3? Between what Nomura has said here and what he said before, we we can honestly conclude that the real reason that Square Enix doesn't want to talk about Final Fantasy VII is not because it's so tragically far behind. It's honestly for a similar reason that they pushed Kingdom Hearts 3 back, because right now it's a bad position for marketing. And honestly, talking more about Final Fantasy VII Remake right now can only draw attention away from Kingdom Hearts 3, which they're trying to put their entire spotlight on. Nomura then leaves us with this last golden nugget here. He says that he doesn't enjoy interacting with other humans, so he really loves does work. Quote, I don't get fatigued by that at all, Nomura explains. It's really fun for me to do. I actually don't like human relationships more than work, so I just want to focus on work and creating things if I don't have to deal with human relationships. It's actually a little bit easier for me to do than not working. This is the guy who made Kingdom Hearts saying that he doesn't actually care about human relationships. Like the game about like happiness and friendship. All this time we've been making jokes about Mark Zuckerberg being like an alien lizard robot and we've been overlooking you all this time. But I'm going to digress from that one. If Nomura is happy, I'm happy. So Ultima Weapons, what do you think about Nomura's recent comments? Do you think we'll finally see more of 7R after KH3 releases? Or does your gut tell you it's still stuck in development hell? Subscribe and let me know in the comments below. And if you really love Final Fantasy VII or Kingdom Hearts, be sure to head on over to our Facebook group, Ultima. Square Enix plus JRPGs, where we can argue about the Osaka effect all day long. Link in the description below.